So right now, as you notice, I have a div here, all right? So let me just close the div, all right? So I have that div there, and inside of that div, I have three divs, all right? And this is how it looks on a browser. So right now, we will style this with CSS, and we will make them three sections. One will be here, one in the middle, and one in the right. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to the CSS, and right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the container. So I'm going to say hashtag container, because I have used the ID here, all right? So hashtag container, and then open to curly braces. Then right here, what I'm going to do is that the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the display to flex. So after that, we are going to change the background color. So just to see it, you know, so background color, I will just make it bisque. And I'm not going to add anything else here, but if I save this, you'll notice that it will add a background color there. And right now, we are going to select the nested items inside of the container. So to select them, what you are going to say is that you are going to select the parent div. So I'm going to say hashtag container. All right. Then I'm going to select all of the divs. So I'm going to say div. All right. And I'm going to open two color braces. So now we have them selected. We are going to change the background color of them just so you can see it better. So background dash color. And let me choose this color just so you can see it. And now you'll notice that we have a background color around our items. And right now I'm going to simply align items to the center. So I'm going to say align dash items center all right so after that we are going to add some margin there so i'm going to say margin 20 pixels all right so we have a margin around them and that margin is optional and i'm going to change the width to 100 percent so save them and now i want to center everything here so inside of the container what I'm going to say is that I'm going to say align dash content center. And if I save it, you know, it will be centered. And we are also going to use justify content center. So save it. And now if we look at him, you'll notice that we have three divs. So one is here, one is here, and one is here. So right now I'm going to so right now I'm going to change the margins. So margin, we have a lot of margin here. So this is optional, but I'm going to change mine to 10 pixels. So we will have a little margins there. So you may have noticed that I did not use the height property. You know why? Because these divs, they will stretch their height based on the content. And just to show you an example, what I did here is that I just copied some text and I'm going to place it here. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh it. As you notice, this is the lorem ipsum text. So it's just a dummy text. And right here, these ones are empty. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to basically um, add some padding here. So to do that, what I can do is that I can go to the container div and I can say padding, for example, let me add 10 pixels of padding here. So save it and refresh it. You'll notice that we have some padding around it and it looks nice. So now even if we make it smaller, you'll notice that uh, they are nicely aligned and they are perfectly centered. So this is how you place three divs next to each other using Flexbox. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you all in the next video. I'm out of here.